Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, Proverbs 16, verse 9. A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. And here it is again. A man or a woman can plan out their day. They can plan their life. But God is the one who determines if that plan will come to pass or if it will not. Man can make plans and man should make plans. That's very biblical. But God is the one who determines what's going to happen. He's the one who determines if those plans are going to come to pass. And if they don't, that's where faith comes in. Faith, knowing that God is smarter than we are, that this is his world, that all things work for his glory, for his pleasure, and to fulfill his eternal plan and purpose. So even if something that we think is so good, so logical, we plan it out. We got it all figured. We got all the I's dotted and all the T's crossed. Man, this is just going to be perfect. And then it doesn't happen. Well, trust God that he knows better and that he is able to use even those things that we didn't count on to work for his glory and your long-term spiritual good. I'll never forget when my son was born. Um, boy, did I get a lesson on flexibility. I've always been very strict with myself, you know, very regimented. I, have a, I used to plan out my whole day, everything that I was going to do, you know, and I'd work my plan. So I'll, I'll never forget my, my friend from high school, my high school days. He, he said, hey, this was, I don't know, a couple of months after... My son was born. He said, well, what's it like being a father? I said, let me explain it to you this way. What you do is you take a piece of paper and you write down your plan for the day. Everything that you're going to do, the time that you're going to do it, put it down, get it on paper, and after you get it completed, then take that piece of paper, roll it up into a ball, and throw it in the garbage because it just doesn't matter. Not when you have a two-month-old or a one-month-old in the house and you're watching, <laughs> you're watching that little one. Plans have to be changed. God is sort of like my son when he was two months old. He'll change your plans. But unlike my son... God knows what's best. And even in a case of situation like with a, a little toddler, a little baby, God is using that too. It's part of his plan. So don't get upset. Just go with the flow, as it were, trusting God. Ten, a divine sentence is in the lips of the king. His mouth transgresseth not in judgment. A divine sentence is in the mouth or in the lips of a king. The words of a ruler carry a lot of weight. And that's the reason why a ruler has to be careful of what he says. What a ruler says has an impact on the entire country and on whatever sphere of authority there is there. The words of a ruler can shake people up. They can comfort them. This is why judgment for a ruler or a teacher or somebody in authority is going to be stricter than if you're one of the masses because your words and your actions carry more weight, more responsibility just by the nature of who you are. Okay, and we'll stop right there. Study all of God's word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse. Pray for me and God's word. That makes you a part of this ministry. Very important. Also, when you take a break from studying the Word of God with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, you can go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give us a Lord may lead. That also makes you a part of this ministry. See you next time.